Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create this eagle costume for your kids at very low budget. So my son is 3 and of years old so I am going to make the eagle costume for his animal parade. So these are the uh, things that I used and it was like around 350 rupees. Um, you know I didn't use the entire materials for this just used uh, half of that materials so it is worth doing by your own so what i'm going to do first of all is making the mask for his face so that mask i'm going to make for that uh, first we have to measure the uh, face uh, width of our kid so i approximately know my uh, son's face width so I uh, accordingly measured on the uh, glitter paper. This is the black color glitter paper and it is sticker type. So now I cut out the eye pot for him. Then I just measured it and uh, I just uh, made the center visible. So because we want two, two eyes opening. So now what I'm doing is I just drawn an uh, eye shape for in that and now I'm cutting it with a knife. So then using the scissor I'm removing that eye part. Similarly I'm going to cut on the another side and using the scissor I'm going to remove it. So now the eye is ready. So for the face mask I'm going to uh, make it look more stylish. So that's why I used glitter uh, glitter sheets. So and again, I'm using white glitter uh, glitter sheet at the top. Uh, I mean, at the bottom of this black one. So what I'm going to create is like a feather leg style mask. So here you can see I'm just um, making the design approximately like a uh, wings leg uh, top design around the eyes so i just uh, drawing half uh, of the design because for the entire mask and uh, wings it's going to be exactly symmetrical so we can just draw the half uh, of everything and cut uh, and make the another half so that's why i just draw the half uh, design now this uh, you know we cut at the top, uh, bottom is to add nose uh, for the eagle so here you can see now I am going to create wings like design for the mask so this glitter sheet is really soft and looks really rich um, looks well for the kids and uh, it looks like a um, trendy stylish mask so here you can see using the scissor i am cutting approximately just like a v cut and if you want uh, to make more feathery like look you can split them at the uh, uh, in at the sharp uh, point so now here you can see i'm going to paste that black color over here so for that i have to create opening eye opening here also so i'm just mark the eyes sh um, size and ring using the scissor now this is going to be like this and i feel like i need one more layer to make it more appealing so what i'm going to use is just the remain part of that white glitter sheets silver glitter sheets so here i'm just marking the height and the width so you can just uh, you don't need much of the measurement or uh, calculation and anything like that just height and width measurement is enough so here you can see i just marked the height and width so uh, the height going to be a little bit sh uh, shorter than the uh, first one and width going to be same so that's how i marked and i approximately cutting and di didn't draw any um, uh, wing like shape in this so as the I, uh, I have already done so I'm just making the another layer for this and I feel like it should come at the top so I just here you can see I made in the symmetry and now I'm doing removing the eye part so this is how we have to paste it 
so the pasting part is very easy just using the uh, favicol to paste it so here you can see i uh, mistakenly i just cut it out the uh, some wings at the corner while i was cutting the eyes so i just pasted it again and now using i was using the sticker type glitter sheet so i just removed the, uh, the uh, back sheet and pasted it over the silver sheet so now i'm going to make the nose part so for the nose part i bought uh, uh, you know yellow color uh, sheet it's a chart like sheet but not the custy chart so here you can see i'm measuring the length absolutely uh, approximately so i'm going to make like a diamond shape first so for that i'm making the measurement now i'm cutting like a square first i'm just cutting it a square and checking out whether it works and it feel like the nose look really big if i use the entire size so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, first uh, we have to have it like a symmetrical one so I make it symmetrical like even square size then I just placed it out and measuring how the nose part should come so here it is it's like a, a diamond or a kite shape uh, nose that I am going to make so here you can see it looks exactly like a kite shape so now I am cutting at the top uh, like a splitting a little bit and I'm going to bend the two uh, edges of that cutting little bit and join together to make the nose bending so now it is ready here you can see this is how I did it it is very easy to make just uh, make little cut at uh, both side and and bend them at the both side so that it uh, starts you know a little bit curvy like look so i'm doing the same thing at the another side as well so now this is ready then we just have to simply paste it at the back side so i am making little folding to make it fit better and looks more uh, curvy so here you can see now it looks perfect and i feel like i want some more brightness at the nose so i'm using yellow color paint to paint it over this uh, uh it is almost dried out the uh, pasting processes so now i'm adding the color paint uh, yellow for the nose alone so now it is ready so for our mask is ready then I am going to make the wings uh, for the wings this is the uh, cardboard I bought and it looks uh, really big so I can make both the wings uh, in this cardboard so since he is just a three and a half years old okay so now I am just drawn the feather like shape approximately and cut it out and again so i'm going to trace this shape simply and cut it is very simple so make sure uh, this doesn't look too big or too small on your kid you just have to make uh, um, like uh, imagination like whether it uh, uh, just draw on the cardboard and uh, imagine whether it looks big or uh, too small for your kid and uh, this is perfect for my son size so now this is how i'm going to fix them together so i made two wings and now using the remaining parts from the cardboard i'm going to paste them exactly at same point so here you can see this is how i paste i'm going to paste on both sides from this side as well as on the back side so here you can see i paste it out and i'm going to do the same process for this also since we're going to cover this uh, using a chart black chart 
we have to not we don't have to worry about uh, uh, whether it looks too ugly based on this uh, uneven piece like that so we don't need to worry about that uh, just we're going to use the chart for this so now I'm going to make the wings for the wings I'm just measuring the uh, size of the wings so this is the half part what I'm going to do is measure the half part and just folding and cutting out the remaining so we just need this part so now I'm going to make the markings or trace uh, so for the tracing part here you can this is the center we have to just draw this part and just make another uh, copy for uh, this so here you can see I'm just making little bit bigger than the wing size uh, of the cardboard why because we want that folded um, uh, feathers uh, that is uh, like you know how I can see it have to look like a real uh, feather with uh, so much of cuttings like that so I made a little bit bigger and why I made it a little bit bigger than the cardboard is um, you can you will understand from, uh, the process so here you can see I made another uh, copy of this so now I'm going to make the wing design so he, uh, here so the all the remaining part of the chart going to be fixed to, to the cardboard and here our main job is so I'm join I'm just going to cut them like this so for the entire wing shape I'm going to cut like this and make little foldings on each tip point you can see just fold like this to make uh, more details for the wings so this is how we have to do for the entire wing and here it is for the both wings I prepared and now I'm going to paste them like this simply using the glue and just fixing them yeah here it is and now it is ready now i'm going to make another layer for the same like this so it's going to be a little bit smaller than the wing size so here you can see i'm measuring tracing the design and making the little bit bigger so that i can create that splittings as before so like this how we can duplicate it to create the another half is just by folding so here you can see yeah this is how I folded it and created that wing shape and when we cutting the uh, shape for the shape we are cutting like a V shape right so please don't throw that remaining waste part like we sharp uh, shape we will get that uh, remaining parts uh, we will usually throw it on dustbin don't do that because it's going to be useful for us in the later so here you can see as before i made it and i'm going to paste it as well so for the wing alone i used one chart and some of the remaining parts are there i will use them uh, later for the body part of the eagle so now the wing is ready mask is ready both are ready and let us keep it aside so here i am using old uh, bunion or um, a tank top of my son to create this so make sure you use the present size of your uh, kid because if you use very old like very small sure to make this it go, it not going to uh, fit for your kid so this is old but still uh, my son uh, you know my son can wear so now i made a design like this and 
cutting out the parts uh, unwanted parts to make it like this so these are the remaining parts that we going to use later on so please don't get away on the dustbin so this is how we going to use to add more uh, texture or detail to the um, uh, body part and just using the removed part as it another layer uh, on the uh, neck part so this is how i'm going to paste them one by one so now it is ready i'm going to paste it on the uh, tank top so here you can see this is the back side of it and i just um, um, using the inner side of the uh, tank top so if you want to use this tank top again for your kid just wash them uh, uh, well uh, so that the gum or the favicol will get right and then you can use them as usual so now i made another layer of this so this go i'm going to paste it and so the another two parts i made you just no need to uh, create uh, these designs using new new charts instead we have so many remaining parts, uh, parts from the um, chart we used for the uh, feather or wing making. So use those uh, remaining charts to make this. And wherever you feel like you want to add more details or the uh, cloth is visible, add a piece like this. Now you can see I made a few more. Um, layers like this and wherever i feel like i have a cloth i'm just pasting these uh, remaining parts so now everything is ready i'm going to um, add the thread details so i'm going to use the thread and needle for this just like this So it is very simple. This uh, thread is very strong that we use for uh, sack tying for those things. So this will not uh, um, cut easily. So and orchid also feel you know weightless. So that uh, that was main purpose. I used tank uh, top instead of uh, using the cardboard for the body. So uh, while I was uh, creating the dragon fruit costume for my son, he felt very heavy because I used the cardboard. So that's why I'm using just a uh, uh, cloth for his body part so that he can handle all these three, uh, um, you know, three costumes all together at once because they get, uh, they can't tolerate all these. We can't manage all this at once, like mask, uh, wings, and um, cardboard uh, lying on your body. They feel really heavy. So I make light as much as possible. So this is how I made the wing and the tank top. Just we are like this. So it is very easy. And this is the final look. I hope you like this. Please subscribe to my channel for more craft work like this i'm going to give you different creative ideas so please subscribe and like and share this video to me this so i'm going to now wear this for my son so he got ready for his animal parade and he is so excited and he want to wear it and he felt a little bit comfortable while uh, wearing this but after that he feel perfect he feel felt weightless so since this is just a cloth so he is excited about his mask so i'm just wearing this you can simply fit this uh using uh, adjusting the thread so tie that uh, thread tightly with that and so for the wing it going to look uh, like a bag so just hang them like they wearing the bag so then adjust them where you want and tie them perfect top and this is the final look that looks really cute thank you for watching